Hunger is a big issue all over the world. Here in the United States, over 46 million people are on food stamps. That equals out to over 15% of the total population, or one in seven people. To get a glimpse of how people on food stamps live, Katie Hunt, a professor at the University of Utah, had her class participate in the food stamp challenge and explains how it came to be. The food stamp challenge is, it's actually an advocacy tool that was invented, if you will, by FRAC, the Food Research and Action Council. Uh, they're out of DC, National Advocacy Organization for Hunger and Food Insecurity. And they came up with this probably about 10 years ago now as a way to connect with congressional representatives. These policymakers aren't experiencing food stamps and yet they're setting the policy. So it's a way to sort of connect with these representatives, have them experience a food stamp budget for, for seven days. And when they first started this, the food stamp budget was something like $2 a day. I mean, it's, it's, it's grown a little since then. Um, and it was, it was meant to be a way to inform better policies. So folks like John Huntsman have taken it and some other uh, representatives around the country. And then I also have the extreme University of Utah student Marin Decker took the challenge and said it was definitely an eye-opening experience for her. Uh, I felt it was challenging, for sure. Um, I didn't think it was going to be that big of a challenge, but it was when I got into it. After the first day, I realized this is more of a challenge than I thought. So what was the hardest part of the challenge? So I have the healthy side and I also have the junk food side to me. So I try to do that for the food challenge, but I found it wasn't enough of both. That was my problem. So I was like, not starving, but I wasn't getting the proper enough food to emotionally and physically keep me going with stamina and energy and, you know, day-to-day -day function. And so how has Marin's perspective changed since taking the food stamp challenge? I found that I consume a lot more food, far more than $4 a day. So it was a big eye-opener to how much money I actually spend on food. To take part in the food stamp challenge or for more information about it, you can visit our website at newsbreak.utah.edu. This has been Justin Giles reporting for Newsbreak.